Unlike other courses and books that teach you design patterns, like a list of recipes to follow, in this course, I'm gonna teach you the art of designing object-oriented software. So I'm not gonna give you a catalog of design patterns ordered alphabetically. I've specifically ordered the patterns in this course to teach you various important concepts. So even though you can jump to a specific pattern to learn more about it, it's best if you take the course from the beginning to the end. Because throughout the sections, I will talk about various principles, and if you skip those, you're gonna miss out a lot. So if you wanna get the most out of this course, watch all the sections in order. Every section is short and sweet, and you can watch it in half an hour or less. If you have taken any of my courses, you know that I don't waste your time by long, slow, and repetitive explanations. Also, in this course, I'll be using Java, but you don't have to be a Java developer in order to take this course. In the next section, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the Java syntax so you can easily understand the code we write. If you use Python or c -sharp or some other language, you can take the concepts in this course and apply them in your favorite programming language. Again, our focus is on the art of designing object-oriented software, not a particular programming language. Now, if you are a Java developer, I still encourage you to watch the next section, even though it might appear a little bit basic for you, because in the next section, I'm gonna talk about the essential object-oriented programming concepts such as encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. A lot of developers don't really understand these concepts properly. So I will see you in the next section.